The year was 1952, and television was in its nascent stages, but it gave birth to a series that would stand the test of time, Guiding Light. This long-running TV series would go on to become a household name, and for many, it held a special place in their hearts. Have you ever wondered if there was a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? Perhaps it was a poignant conversation, a dramatic twist, or a character's development that left an indelible mark on your memory. Guiding Light wasn't just a show, it was a part of people's lives. It told the stories of families, love, and the trials and tribulations of everyday existence. It connected with its viewers on a personal level, and as it spanned decades, it became a cherished memory for many. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share the moments that made you laugh, cry, or reflect on life. Let's celebrate the impact Guiding Light had on our lives. So, let's journey back to the world of Springfield, where the Guiding Light shone bright, and where the drama and emotions of life played out on our screens. Guiding Light wasn't just a TV show, it was a part of our lives. Share your stories and memories, and let's keep the Guiding Light burning, even after all these years. Guiding Light, a groundbreaking American television series that first aired in 1952, holds the distinction of being one of the longest-running soap operas in television history, captivating audiences for over seven decades. The show originated as a radio drama in the 1930s before transitioning to television, where it continued to flourish. Set in the fictional town of Springfield, it chronicled the lives, loves, and trials of the Bauer, Spalding, and Lewis families, among others, providing viewers with a daily dose of drama and romance. The show was notable for its distinctive style, using melodramatic storytelling emotional depth, and innovative techniques, such as the introduction of the first soap opera supercouple, Bert and Bill Bauer. Guiding Light had a profound impact on popular culture, contributing to the rise of the soap opera genre and launching the careers of numerous actors. Its cancellation in 2009 marked the end of an era in television, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to influence the medium. When longtime cast member Charita Bauer died in 1985, it took a year of persistent audience demands to write an off-screen death for her character Bert in 1986. This incident reflects the deep connection viewers had with the characters of Guiding Light. The show's ability to resonate with its audience and the lengths it went to honor its actors' legacies were remarkable. From its beginnings in 1952 as a groundbreaking American television series to its enduring impact on popular culture, Guiding Light has left an indelible mark on the world of soap operas. It was more than just a show, it was a part of people's lives. The groundbreaking American television series Guiding Light, which began in 1952, had a significant impact on its viewers. One notable incident in the early 1960s involved a storyline about early detection of uterine cancer. The show's head writer, Agnes Nixon, faced opposition from executives but persisted in telling the story without using certain medical terms. This plot, the first involving cancer on television, resonated with millions of women, encouraging them to schedule pap tests. Guiding Light was not just a show, it influenced real-life actions and had a lasting impact. The TV series Guiding Light, which began in 1952, holds a unique place in television history. It was the first show to be broadcast on all three major networks in the United States. Starting as a radio drama on NBC in 1937, it later aired on both NBC Blue and NBC Red before finding a home on CBS in 1947. This remarkable achievement in network broadcasting history showcases the widespread appeal and enduring popularity of Guiding Light, making it a trailblazer in the world of television. Guiding Light's journey through various networks reflected its ability to adapt and captivate audiences for over seven decades. It marked a significant milestone in the history of American television, and its influence on the medium remains undeniable. The TV series Guiding Light, which began in 1952, holds the distinction of being the longest-running drama series in history. It originated on the radio as The Guiding Light in 1937, revolving around Reverend Dr. John Rufledge and his congregation. Despite being canceled by CBS multiple times, letter-writing campaigns led to its return. 
The show transitioned to television on June 30th, 1952, and actors performed scripts twice a day. It achieved several milestones, including its first color broadcast on September 11th, 1967, and the first hour-long episode on November 7th, 1977. The series received a special citation from the Emmy Awards in 1997 for its distinction as the longest-running daytime drama. Guiding Light had a lasting impact on television history and remained on the airwaves until its final episode on September 18, 2009. Guiding Light, the iconic TV series that began in 1952, achieved a remarkable milestone in 1984 when Judy Evans won the Supporting Actress Emmy Award for her role as Beth Rains. Notably, Evans was the first cast member even to be nominated. Following this breakthrough, the show garnered 27 more acting awards during its run. Recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's longest-running soap opera, Guiding Light left an indelible mark on television history. Its longevity and recognition in the entertainment world make it a true icon in the realm of television. In the early 1980s, the series also embraced real-life bands, such as the B-52 Seconds, who performed on the show. Guiding Light had an impact far beyond the screen, bringing together the world of entertainment and its viewers in unique and memorable ways. In 1989, Michael Zaslow, who had portrayed Roger Thorpe on Guiding Light until his character's death in 1980, was approached to return to the show as Alan Spaulding. This offer came after the unfortunate passing of Christopher Burnow, the actor who had played Alan. However, Zaslow declined the offer, feeling too closely associated with his iconic role as Roger. The producers were eager to have him back, to the point that they resurrected Roger's character from the dead. This behind-the-scenes decision showcased the show's commitment to its characters and the challenges of recasting in the world of daytime television. Many episodes of Guiding Light, along with other daytime television shows, are considered lost forever. The show was originally performed live until the 1960s, and earlier episodes exist only as kinescopes. Procter & Gamble Productions didn't begin archiving these shows until the late 1970s, as they believed there was no further use for them after their initial broadcast. This practice of reusing the original tapes has resulted in the disappearance of a significant portion of television history, making it impossible to revisit many of the show's early moments. These behind-the-scenes details offer a unique perspective on the challenges and decisions that shaped the long and storied history of Guiding Light, a series that began in 1952. It reflects the deep connections between actors and their roles and the unfortunate loss of valuable episodes from the show's early years. These facts provide a glimpse into the complex world of daytime television and the enduring impact of this iconic series. As we draw the curtains on this captivating journey through the realms of the 1952 TV series, Guiding Light, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal tapestry it has woven into your life. In the intricate storyline, the characters' joys and sorrows, and the enduring lessons it shared with you, what threads have you intertwined with your own experiences? How has Guiding Light illuminated your path through the ever-changing landscape of life? It's not just a show, it's a living legacy, a luminous beacon that has touched the hearts of generations. From the sound of its timeless opening theme to the iconic faces that graced your screen, Guiding Light has left an indelible mark. Whether you've watched it alongside family, friends, or quietly in solitude, these shared moments have become memories forged in the fires of emotion and connection. Now, it's your turn to share. What are your fondest memories, most cherished characters, or profound life lessons that Guiding Light has gifted you? Have you found yourself drawing strength from its stories or inspiration in your own journey? We want to hear your thoughts, your stories, and your connections to this remarkable piece of television history. Thank you for your time and interest in delving into the world of Guiding Light. Your reflections and memories add depth to the tapestry of this iconic show. Keep those stories shining, just like the Guiding Light itself. And remember, every chapter of our lives is 